Good evening, everybody. This is David Zack. Wasn't sure what I was going to paint this evening. Happened to be looking through YouTube. And I saw this really cool gorilla nature video. So I paused on the frame and started drawing. I love gorillas. So I thought I would just sketch it. This might make a pretty good painting. So right now I'm just kind of going through and finding the gesture of the pose and constantly correcting. I didn't like how that arm was, so I corrected it. Just trying to find something that's pleasing, searching, keeping it loose, keeping it rough. That's all I'm after here at this point. I try to draw like the form, almost through the form, but keeping it super loose as you can see. And that's good enough for me. I'm ready to take this into painting, a couple more little touches, and then off we go. So right now I'm going to go through and add just values, a gray value across the whole thing. Uh, leaving the gray behind as my light source. Just blocking in, defining the shape. Just doing this a little bit helps. Helps me visualize what, what to do next. Here I wanted to add a little bit of color, just blotching it on. I put the, uh, the layer in color mode just adding a little bit of color, a little bit of texture to the, trying to get some blues in there, some warm, some cools. Now I'm back to normal mode. And I collapsed the layer already on this, so I'm painting directly over the sketch. This is when you really have to uh, commit because um, there's no going back really, unless you save your sketch layer. I don't know. I'm just like all in. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all the way. And the worst you can do is lose your sketch, but this helps you uh, commit to your painting a little more. Plus, it also helps get rid of the, the line art underneath. So I'm trying to be pretty broad with my brush strokes, keeping it pretty loose. Exploring. The brushes I'm using, I, I uh, made myself. They're just altered brown brushes, really, and uh, I applied a bit of a texture, texture to it. So, and textures, I like to kind of go find my own textures and put them on there makes it unique to myself to what I like and it's usually something around the house honestly like one of my textures was like a flower pot that was sitting out my back patio really like the texture of it and I threw it on one of the brushes and I'm like ah, oh, so cool so try it sometimes you get some amazing results so here I'm just still going through just trying to find some cools in there trying to balance out between the warm and the cools lights and darks. Still using the round brush for pretty much this whole thing. I always feel like painting is a lot like carving. I feel like I'm carving light into whatever I'm painting. And it's like that, it's very similar to that. I feel like with the, sh the brush marks, I almost feel like I'm just carving the figure out with lights and darks. Brushes. 
this brush I'm using, I'm absolutely one of my favorite brushes. It's this uh, round brush that's uh, adjusted, adjusted the shape to an oval shape. So it kind of really gives me a crisp sharpness to it, like it's a hard edge. But it's also soft because I'm, I'm using the flow adjustment along with the opacity in my settings. I just love this brush. It's great for uh, sharp details and kind of like broad um, applications of like color or paint or value or whatever you want to put down on it. It's really a cool brush. So I'm still just keeping it very loose. I like, I really want this to look gestural almost like a drawing, but with my painting. I'm just going in close now to see what I'm doing with the, um, you know, the face, how loose I'm working. And I wasn't, I wasn't at all this close when I was painting it. I, I kept the image the same size. I kept it pretty far away, so I just wanted to do a close up and show everybody what I was what I was doing. It's just so loose up close, you know, you don't, it's not supposed to be detailed. It's supposed to look good from far. It's just layer, layer upon layer. Discovering the image as you go. Constantly adjusting. Look at it. Does it look right? Now I'm playing in the background. I wasn't sure what to do. Flip the image is so important too. I can't stress that enough. And I don't do that enough, honestly. But once you flip your image, you start to see the, the things that bother you and things that you didn't see before. So I'm an animator by trade during the day, and I do that constantly. Also, I flip the image of my uh, animation. But I actually don't flip the image on screen. I actually have a mirror behind my desk, and I'm constantly looking at my animation through my mirror. Somehow looking at it through the mirror for me allows me to just give myself distance to what I'm doing. I can see all the things suddenly when I'm doing that. I'm like, oh my gosh, that needs to be fixed. Or it's a very valuable tool. Do that with your work. So I'm putting a loose background in. We used to have to do that back in when I did 2D. Also, I flip the drawings. Um, I'd hold it, you know, up to the light back when we used to draw paper up to the window and actually see it backwards or my light table. We didn't have the flip technology because we were working on analog paper, but same premise. So here I'm just exploring, eh, maybe should I put birds in there, should I not? And I was like, nah, I don't think it needs it. Let's just keep it as a gorilla. Keep it simple. It's really just what I wanted to paint anyways was the gorilla. I don't mind the little sketch on the bottom. It kind of shows where the image came from. I like it. Just leave it in there. So I'm just playing, adjusting. And here I didn't like that far leg. I thought the a curve, much like the other one, would be better. It's felt graphically, it looks better. So I changed it. There's nothing wrong with changing it. You sketch it, you paint it, you fix it. There's there's never a, a, a wrong time to fix something. And there's never, you know, you do it at the very end, you can do it as you go. You, it's just constantly changing, constantly evolving the image, finding it, searching until you're happy with it.
this is the final image. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.